we're here in Wanaka, central Otago region on the South Island of New Zealand. This is the tourism capital of New Zealand and some of the greatest hunting opportunities in the Southern Hemisphere. Blue Collar Adventures, proudly sponsored by Low T Center, reinventing men's health care. Ever since I was a little girl, my dad and my sister and I always talked about coming to New Zealand. When I looked out the window, flying into Queenstown, I just had to pinch myself. The view was absolutely spectacular. Jay and I have been training the last couple months. We always try to stay in really good shape, but we knew this was gonna be a challenge. And we finally get to meet our guide, Sam. He comes to pick us up. And it's fun to look back on those moments because here's a guy that I just met that now I look at, he's gonna be a lifelong friend. I saw the front of the lodge and I had no idea that it was going to be this awesome. I started hunting uh, around the world when I was 19 and, and doing trade shows and, and getting to visit places. I've been very fortunate to um, hunt some really exclusive properties in Europe and America. And I guess I always had a vision to, to create a really awesome lodge in New Zealand. There's some fantastic places in New Zealand, some other great hunting operations, but I really had, uh, had a vision, you know, for um, an awesome gun room, for a library, you know, just, I suppose so trying to create something that isn't in New Zealand, we really, we want to create something that, uh, yeah, that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. You know, coupled with, you know, that's coupled between lodge experience, between hunting, between, um, you know, New Zealand cuisine, eating the, the great meats that we have here, the game meats. Um, there's just so many different elements that make it the ultimate experience. We are in New Zealand, our first trip ever. We're with Venator. Cardrona Safaris, Duncan Fraser and the crew, they picked us up today. It's just breathtaking. I can't believe how beautiful it is here. They have best of the West, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna see if I can find a tar or chamois. Crystal's after a big stag. We got Sam up there hanging in target, checking our guns, but just to come see this place is worth the 20 hour flight. It's just, you cannot describe the beauty of New Zealand. Sam's going to test me out at 100 here. I don't know if we can... I haven't shot 100 in a long time. The first sort of few days is you test people out and see what they can do and where we can get them their animals. And like you see the video, the country's big, but we can, it's all doable. We have a lot of, a lot of country and uh, there's a variety of animals and there's never a lack of size of uh, animals here and uh, you probably wouldn't find anywhere better to hunt red stags or elk or fallow. 
So really our aim is to sit down with, uh, with a hunter, um, with a couple, with a family when they first arrived at our lodge and, and really figure out what they're wanting. You know, what are they looking for in their New Zealand experience? And we want to work with them to have, make that, that once in a lifetime trip, that experience. It, it's not just all about the trophy. Um, pulling the trigger is a, a split second thing that you don't ever remember, but you remember you know, the hard day walking around the hill, you remember your guide, um, there's just a lot of stuff that, that creates that experience that you'll always have. There's your stag right there. Little spike. We're starting to see several good stag that that we might go after, but the wind's just wrong for some of them. Um, where they're located, we just have to find like this perfect one that I can make a good stock on because the terrain's really steep up here. And once you commit to go after one, if the wind changes or anything, you don't have much of a chance. So just trying to make the perfect plan. We made several really good stocks. It just, it just couldn't get put together, but uh, I was just so close. Blue Collar Adventures, proudly sponsored by Cinnamon Creek Archery, Spot Hog, Matthews, Vortex, The Four Synoptics, Traeger Wood Pellet Grills, Pinnacle Hunting Supplies. It's all about the train they're in, the cover they're in, and how the wind's gonna work. So we find lots of big stags, now we just have to find the one that we can get to and have an opportunity at. As people at home don't realise having a third person walking around with the camera and uh, following you along, it's just that extra little bit of noise and uh, you know it can make the job a lot harder than what it actually seems to come across on the TV. We just made a stock on the stag all morning. The fog was really heavy, we had to wait for it to lift and it just didn't work out, the wind wasn't right. We're headed back down the jaw and I hear all this brush moving and 
then I look and it's a stag. I'm like, holy cow, they're starting to rake. Here's our chance. Uh, no, he was hung up in this big vine. And now it's like, you can't shoot one tied up. So now it goes from a hunt to a rescue. We're trying to figure out how to get him loose so he doesn't hurt himself. And he figures it out on his own and just about runs over me. The pressure's on. I've had quite a few stalks, some close calls, but have not got it done. All of our friends are coming in this evening, and this is my last chance. We spent two days trying to find a stag that she liked. And the night that everybody turned, that turned up, the other guys, we managed to find the stag that she liked. and We had these two stags feeding towards us, so we set, set Crystal and Jay down there with a the camera, and they walked in perfectly while everybody else was watching, so she was under a little bit of stress with everybody watching from above. but. Um, the stags came across perfectly and it was awesome. I knew if I let down, he was gone. And then I was like, oh, surely I can. And I shot too far back, because that stick was right there. So I got into the electric back, and he started walking again so he wouldn't see me. And there was a bush, right, that he was going to go behind, and I could tell it was going to stop me from getting his vitals. So I tried to grunt to get him to stop. And he didn't stop the first time, and he stopped right at the edge of the brush, and I thought, I rushed in and made a mistake and tried to sneak it behind the brush and shot him a little far back, so I've been watching from the top of the ridge. We think we got him in down on the third oak oh, and he's dead. Playing over the way. What do you think, Sam? I think it's dead. Looks like he's down over there. They're going in there to check it out. I hope he's down. This is part of bow hunting, guys. It happens to all of us, but... Perfect line, just a little bit back, quartered away, maybe got enough long. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. My awesome guide, Sam. I've been dreaming about coming here for for years. So many years, my dad and sister, we always planned a trip to come. So sorry you're not here, dad. Maybe next time I can bring you. But Sam brought us, we saw these guys from the top and the wind was wrong. And we tried to get on them the first time and they got up out of their beds and started feeding across the, the ditch um, along the hillside here. And we just kept walking way up high trying to get above them and Sam brought us down he's like, if we can get down below and, and head them off, maybe they'll feed around and sure enough, he set us up in the perfect spot. They came right to us and I was just trying to calm myself down because it, it's just, I'm just You've so... You've gone through a lot of emotions. Too many, <laughs> too many. It's crazy. It's so cool. The only thing that would have made this more perfect is for my dad to be here. This is the part I love, harvesting the meat, taking it back and feeding the whole lodge. This stag had a purpose. Blue Collar Adventures, proudly sponsored by Low T Center, reinventing men's healthcare. 
the best of the West shooting system, KUYU, ultralight hunting, GSM outdoors, crow suppressors, wilderness athletes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to all of our The amazing. week of your life. We get back to the lodge after Crystal shot her stag with a bow. And, uh, we sit down and talk to Duncan and what are we doing tomorrow? He says, uh, Jay, you, you're going to go shoot a big stag. I think Jay kind of looked at me, thought that I was maybe joking. We said, no, you guys, you know, go ahead and find a big stag and, and try and make a long shot with the, with the best of the West. So go to follow that line and there's a big bush that sticks over the top of that irrigation ditch. They're right to the left. Oh, okay. Left of it, kind of in the bottom of that little nook right there. This is what Best of the West is designed for right here. Big mountains, long canyon shots, and big, big trophy stags. Hope we hook up with one. Sam spotted three nice stag over here. There's one shooter in the bunch. The light's just a little bit tough right now. It's right in our face. We'll wait for it to come up and get another better look at them. Maybe, maybe send one a little ways. We got no wind this morning, so it should make for a very, very high percentage shot at 675. It's up to the shooter. We just gotta see if they bed down and we lose them, but we've been keeping an eye on them. Beautiful stag. Just to be here and hunt is just beyond belief. He would rather let him go than take a bad shot. And shoot long range, everything has to be perfect. The wind, the sun, everything. They're blown out. You just gotta wait for everything to be right in long range. You can't just send one. That's what we're doing now. It's getting a little warm. Now the cotton's going to the rain. Well, I've got one we've waited all day for. He's in range, everything's right. I dial my Huskamo scope to 615. Now they're, going, they're looking down here. So when? Oh. So this is the one facing to the left. This hits to the left. Good shot. It's got a little bit of a good. Yeah, he's done. Oh man! <laughs> Holy cow! That is best of the West in New Zealand. Yes. Sam. No man, I ain't no high fiver. Come here. Oh I mean, man! Thank you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm shaking. I, 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 I was shaking, man. I'm still shaking. What a beautiful animal! New Zealand is a dream come true. This is a dream come true. Duncan Fraser, you guys. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. We are Blue Collar Adventures, but we want you to find the best adventure, whether it's the best of the best, which this is, or something else. This is the best of the best right here in New Zealand. Unreal. Good shot. I'm just a ranch kid from northern Nevada. Never thought I'd hunt Africa. Never thought I'd hunt New Zealand. Reminds me a lot of where I grew up, but this is amazing. What's cool about New Zealand is there's more helicopters per capita than any other country. There just happened to be one here tonight, and they're like, hey man, you don't even have to pack him out of there. We'll go grab him with the helicopter. And I was like, well, let me think about it. Perfect. So they're coming with a the helicopter. They're going to go grab him. They're going to bring him here to us. I don't think I've ever heard of that happening for me or seen it happen, but uh, it's going to be pretty neat. That's part of the experience here. Big stag down. I can't wait to see him. Can't wait to put my hands on him. He's just an old, beautiful stag. And to see all those stags run together, it's early. So it's before the rut. So they're batched up just like their deer and elk at home. And uh, man, just to get to see him, awesome. Here at 
Venator Controna Safaris, it's all about an experience. And it's the New Zealand experience. It's big stag, giant fallow, tar, chamois, everything you could ask for in a South Pacific hunt. It's the best I've ever seen. And I've been around a long time. I've seen a lot of stuff and it was just phenomenal. And to watch Crystal yesterday stock one with her bow, my trip was already made. And then for Duncan to say, go find you a stag. I brought my best to the West. We believe in them. It's always fun to test your ability. And this is where you come test it right here. You've got big mountains, long shots. Look at this animal. I mean, a dream come true. And I can't tell you how much fun we've had in New Zealand. We've only been here a few days. The guides are amazing, the hospitality's out of this world, and the lodge guys. I know I say I'm Blue Collar Adventures, but when you get a chance to come to a place like this, you do it. And that's what we did this week. It's just, it's just in the middle. We've done some hiking, we've done some exploring, and we're just getting started. So we went back up there uh, in the evening and, and got on the same group of stags again and managed to make a good shot at, I think, over 600 yards, which is, which is pretty impressive.